So we are outside today getting some spring garden prep done. We have a local tree trimming company that likes to drop us off some good tree mulch. So I'm gonna be spreading it out on the garden and in our new fruit trees and some raised beds and around the house and spots we need it in. So I'm gonna walk you guys around and show you that and the new things that we are adding to our garden space this year. Last year, I got these trees 50% off from a local nursery. This is a Van Cherry, and I believe that one is a Royal Ann Cherry. This little area here, I pretty much just mulch the heck out of it because it doesn't grow anything but weeds. This area, I had a couple blueberry plants here. We had that wind shear. I had some uh, stuff fall over here, and it has crushed a lot. So I don't know what is gonna happen here. This is all that is left of the blueberries. So we'll see. I might just leave it and see what it does. Over here, I just dug up one of them. I've got a couple more daylilies. They're pretty and everything, but they really don't serve much of a purpose for me, especially since my neighbor across the street has a ton of daylilies. I'd rather either put something else here. Initially, I was going to put raspberries here, but raspberries and blueberries like different kinds of soil. I think it's raspberries that like alkaline soil and blueberries like acidic soil, which would be a little bit of a problem, <laughs> mind the head, um, <laughs> a little bit of a problem here growing in the same space. So I'm not quite sure I'm gonna handle that. I might, I could, I could put an extra little raised bed here. I might, I don't know, we'll have to see what kind of extra supplies we have laying around when we're done with everything. Okay, my son is walking our dog and <laughs> the neighbor dogs are not liking it. Okay, so here is another raised bed. I made this one a couple years ago out of an old play set that we had. And this is my 13 year old son's changing table that at one point in time was our quail um, infirmary. And it's just been sitting around since we got rid of our quail and I decided to take it apart a little bit and make it a trellis. It's got some hardware cloth on it. So that is gonna be yeah, that is gonna be for cucumbers. And <laughs> are you excited about the cucumbers? Yeah, that's gonna be for cucumbers this year. So this is the strawberry tower that I mentioned in my last video. So what I'm gonna do here is I've got landscaping paper. I'm gonna put, fill it with dirt and then cut holes and stick strawberries out there and the strawberries will fall outside land size for easy harvest, easy watering. Supposedly, we'll see how it goes. I bought virtually nothing. All I bought was landscaping paper, which I also needed another space area, or which I also needed in another space. And then all of these bricks, I propped it up for better irrigation, and so that it's harder for bugs to get up in there. And I had all these pavers laying around. I want to add a couple more levels of pavers here so that our water catchment is up higher because this is a little difficult for drainage. I should have thought about that when we were doing this, but oh well. Our raised bed here, I added the hose reel here, which is nice, it's an out of the way, filled with some good rabbit poop that I added during the winter time, right before we started getting deep freezes and lots of snow. So that I will turn in and that'll be ready to go. The main garden space here is about half mulched now. I started the Back to Eden method. Last year was our first year doing this method. I absolutely love it. I had very, very little weeding. This area down here was very thin and I did get a lot of grass and weeds through here, but I added a good thick layer here, so hopefully it'll be a lot better this year. And here, are my PVC pipes to make worm towers out of ready to be cut to go in. I'm super excited about that. And here are my finished elevated herb beds. I couldn't really find a good spot. Like I said, that corner over there just grows nothing. Um, so I put up some elevated beds. Okay, so this here is pre-treated lumber. This is not because I went cheap with it. It's just regular untreated pine and I painted it. So I know you don't want to use pre-treated lumber or paint anything with anything you're gonna be growing food in, but I did that because they are elevated and they are gonna rot, and I just wanted to give a little more stability to it. So that's why I went ahead and did that. And then I just put landscaping fabric on top of it. I drilled holes for drainage, got some dirt in here. I still have to add some things to this to amend it a little bit. 
It's not the best soil, it's super dry right now, but it's what I had, so I'm using it. But I will fix this up so it will grow some great herbs for us. And then I had some old one by and some scrap garden fencing, and I put those in there and I'll be using that as a trellis for something fun. I haven't decided yet. And a pretty place to put my wind chime, because I love my wind chimes. So this is our garden space for this year. It is a total mess right now, but I'm really starting to see it take shape and I can see what it's gonna be when everything is planted and everything is blooming and producing and just how gorgeous and productive it's gonna be this year, God willing. So, and we don't have, if we do have any more scary tornadic weather, we do not have anything that's going to fall on and destroy my fence this year. So, yay for that.